executive councilors received a briefing this last week on the costs associated with bringing commuter rail to New Hampshire. By now, most have probably heard about the latest estimated price tag, close to $800 million. Most of that would be covered by federal funds, but NHDOT estimates the state would be on the hook for about $114 million in the construction phase, or 19% of the overall cost. But here's something transportation experts brought up that not many people have discussed publicly. Extending commuter rail to New Hampshire would also involve a cost to Massachusetts, and it's not insignificant. The Commonwealth would be on the hook for $96 million, or 16% of the overall cost. NHDOT told the Executive Council Wednesday, even if one day New Hampshire does decide to move forward with commuter rail, there's no guarantee officials in Mass will have the will or the nearly $100 million sitting around to make it happen for the Granite State. Councilors also heard that this model may have been slightly too optimistic about how many people would use a New Hampshire commuter rail line in the future. Of course, pandemic work from home policies are winding down, but DOT officials say ridership is currently not on track to bounce back to the level they thought it might when they started this study.